It's really nice to have you here. Thanks for coming. Hey, well, uh, welcome to Forklift Basics. Let's start at the top. A forklift is a mechanical device classified as a type of powered industrial truck. Like other equipment of this type, such as motorized pallet jacks, a forklift is used to move or lift loads. Pretty simple, right? Well, forklifts can cause serious injury or death if they're misused, improperly maintained, or if the operator isn't properly trained on how to use the equipment safely. While there are many similarities between forklifts, such as basic operating controls, there are also many differences. For example, some forklifts are approved for use in certain hazardous locations, while others are not. And some are built for specific tasks and work environments. If you're thinking of a powered industrial truck, you might visualize the standard sit-down forklift. It's the most common type. You may encounter other powered industrial trucks where you work, like stand-up rider trucks, order pickers, or powered pallet jacks. Always practice safe operating procedures every time you step up to the controls of a forklift. Remember, you're the one person responsible for your safety and the safety of others when operating this equipment. The very first step in safe operating procedures is to make sure your forklift is ready for the day's work ahead. OSHA requires that all powered industrial trucks, including forklifts, be examined at least daily before being placed in service. If the forklift is used around the clock, it needs to be examined after every shift. The defects may be corrected by a qualified person, but it may be up to you as the forklift operator to conduct a pre-use inspection at the start of your shift. Come on, let's go out and take a look at what we're talking about. Time to dive back into the operator manual. Follow the manufacturer's instructions in here and use your employer's checklist for guidance. It's a good idea to have a checklist to make sure you don't miss any steps. The checklist can also be saved as part of the maintenance record. There are two parts to a pre-use inspection, the walk-around inspection and the seated inspection. Let's watch another pro handle a walk-around inspection. When performing the walk-around, start with the tires, making sure that they're in good condition. Before you pick up a load, make sure you know exactly what you'll be lifting. There's a big difference between a light, centered load and a heavy, off-center load. Confirm the load is within the capacity limits for the forklift. Is it balanced? Will it be secure? If the load is unstable, restack it or attach the load securely to the pallet with shrink wrap. If there's any possibility that the load might fall backward, make sure there's a load backrest extension in place. If the load has an uneven shape, be aware of any special stacking requirements before you pick it up. Know where and how you'll safely stack the load before you lift it. And don't forget, the shape of the load could affect the center of gravity in your unit's stability. There are a few things you want to make sure you do as you pick up a load. Before you raise a load, check for overhead obstructions. Look for things like lights, pipes, or sprinkler systems. Set the width of the forks as far apart as possible under the load to evenly distribute the weight. Next, drop the forks to the floor and slowly position them under the load, driving forward until the forks are completely under the load. If you have permission and the proper training for battery or cylinder changes, take care of the job while wearing the right PPE. This may include eye and face protection, foot protection, gloves, and an apron. Know where the eye wash station is, as well as the shower and other emergency equipment like spill cleanup supplies. As an additional and probably obvious precaution, keep any open flames, including cigarettes, away from refueling areas. Looks like we're ready to see an LPG cylinder swap in action. I always follow these steps when changing a cylinder. I have the unit parked with the engine running. I always make sure I have my protective gloves on so I can protect my hands from liquid propane freeze burns. Close the fuel line valve on the cylinder and let the engine run until it stops. This guarantees that the connection hose is empty of propane. Then shut off the ignition. I'm going to disconnect the hose and the holding straps. Then lift the empty cylinder off. A forklift safety may involve a lot of factors, 
But knowing the controls and limitations of the units you operate and keeping them in mind will help you work without incident. Make sure you understand how to safely recharge or refuel the forklifts you're authorized to operate. Only install attachments or modifications if they are approved and the lift's capacity is updated. And take a proactive role in the maintenance of your forklift, reporting defects before they become deadly hazards.